troubleshooting PPPoE. This is going to be so much fun. Am I right or am I right? So if you haven't watched my first one, go watch it. It'll show you how to configure all the good, all the goodness, all the bits. PPPoE. And this is the troubleshooting part. So what do you do when everything's broken and you got to fix it? So can't get those delicious ISP muffins. The, the link is broken and the derp is all sad. It's all broken. So let's follow some troubleshooting steps. It's not that bad. Actually, it's, I wouldn't say it's easy, but I wouldn't say it's difficult. So let's check it out. So the first command you should have in your toolkit, we're like a doctor now, taking our scalpel and going in there, seeing what's going on, cutting stuff. So we can see here, there's no local remat, local or remote MAC address. We don't have a dialer interface showing up here, no virtual access and it's shut down. Or you may see nothing at all here. So if you see that, it's layer one issue of a bad, some type of issue. Whether that's cables not connected, something's wrong, or the interface shut, is shut down, the physical one, or it could be that the dialer pool interface number is not matching underneath the physical interface. So let's check that out. So we'll do, Show, I've got it right here. Come on, you. No. So we're going to look at the fast Ethernet. So show run section fast Ethernet. So we see that we have PPPoE client dial pool number one. So it's one. Let's make note of that. And what what do we have for a dialer interface? Well, let's see what's up and running. Show interface, show IP interface brief. We can see, oh, there's a dialer two there. So let's do show run section interface dialer two. section so we can see that oh the dialer pool of six is supposed to be one uh oh so either way you want to change it you want to change this to six or this to one doesn't really matter so let's just go to the interface I don't want to mess with the dialer who cares whatever let's it's gonna be off script and go wild man on on a mission Figure T, let's go to interface of zero, zero. No. Dash client dial pool number one. We want to get rid of that. Let's give it six. Okay, so now they match up. So now the dialer interface is tied to the physical interface. Let's see what's 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 going on here. So show PPPoE session. Aha! We've got a dialer interface. So looks like layer one is getting better now. That's and we got pad isn't. Pad isn't what? What is that? Pad isn't. I don't know. iPad isn't charging? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, layer one is okay now. Should be fine. So let's check layer two. Actually, <laughs> troubleshooting within my troubleshooting. Let's go back to layer one. Layer one. I mean, my instructor has said never underestimate the physical layer. You would you would not believe how many times. Like, for example, you're trying to ping something, and you're troubleshooting all that advanced stuff, you're going in, hacking the bits, and then you look down three hours later and like, oh, that Ethernet cord's not plugged. Maybe I should plug it in. <laughs> so, interface, zero. Actually, we need to go double config. Make sure it's on. Let's see, no shoe. Make sure it's on. It's coming up. There we go. 
Layer one, make sure the interface is on and you got stuff plugged in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, looks like it's up. Actually, it changed state to down. Look. So, virtual access. It's up and then it's unbound. Look, and it's doing it. It's flapping. So, it tries to create this virtual access interface that's bound. It comes from the dialer interface. So, the virtual access is where all the stuff gets done, basically. It's generated by iOS. And it's flapping. So, why is it doing this? So, ah, that's really annoying. So, let's check. Let's do some more troubleshooting. So, layer one looks like it's working, right? It's, it's there. We got stuff flowing. The bits are flowing. We do. Oh, whatever. Do show PPPOE session. It's shut down. Dialer interface is there. Oh, we got MAC addresses. Look at that. We're in this weird air. So, let's check. Let's check layer two. So we'll do shoe show run section of interface dialer two. Actually, it's capital. It's so picky about the stupid capitalization. Another story for another day. Um, so we got encapsulation PPP. PPP chap host name. Let's check muffins. That's right. We checked with ISP. And we're checking the password that I speak, like, whoops, we're missing an E there. It's derps, not der, der. Boy, talk about derp and the derps. Got derpception going on here. <laughs> so let's fix that flapping yap in there. So let's go to interface dialer 2. Do a no PPP chap password derps. PPP chap password DERPS. Right. So let's let's see what happens. Sit and wait. Watch paint dry. It's gonna do something. It's gonna do the thing. I hope it does the thing, right? Everybody wants it to do the thing. Muffins, derps. Okay, up, up. It didn't. Decide to break anything. It's good. It's good. Let's do show PPPOE session. Do show PPPOE. Whatever. Ooh, we got dialer, dialer interface, and the virtual access interface is bound to up, up. Mm, so good. Remote MAC addresses is looking good. So layer one and two is good. It's good, man. We're good. So let's see. Do show IP interface brief. But what's going on here? Dialer 2, it has no IP address. What's going on here? It's up and up, but hmm, we should get an IP address. So let's check layer 3. So we'll do show, let's see, int, what are we looking for? Show run. Let's take a look at section of interface dialer two. What is it? Oh, let's complain about the two. Whatever. Show a little whiner. <laughs> so we have MTU 1492. That's good. No IP address is fine. But where's the IP negotiated? You gotta gotta have that in there. So let's add that in there. Let's go to config. Dialer boy, we sure really derped this up, didn't we? Address negotiated. There. We're negotiating. We're haggling now for those IP addresses. So do show IP interface brief. See what it does. Let's wait a minute. See the the goodness it creates. So <laughs> uh, I did some troubleshooting. I'm back now. <laughs> did some troubleshooting while I'm doing a troubleshooting video. So that's interesting. So did some research. 
and the way to fix it is with the reboot. So I, I saved the config, and I'm just waiting for it to boot. So that should hopefully fix that problem where I have these multiple virtual access interfaces it created. Yeah, when I messed around with it, it didn't like it. So I did fix what was wrong, but it, I, I guess people are saying you got you got to reboot. So I'll wait for this to come up. Pause it. Okay, I'm back for the what tenth time. <laughs> I had to do troubleshooting while I was doing troubleshooting. I had to pause the video again. So I uh, when I rebooted, it didn't save anything. All my commands, all my works like no. Oh my gosh. Right, so I'm making a troubleshooting video, and now it's failing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I had to run through the whole lab again, get to the point where I was, and then actually put config um, 2102 instead of 2142. So it didn't save anything. So after I did that, reloaded, I'm back to where I am. And if we do show, so all I did was fix that layer 3 issue I added in. Um, IP address negotiated on that dialer interface and you just do or I just did a reboot there might be a better way but that's what the cool guys said in the forums to so show IP interface brief there we go dialer interface 2 Woo! you got an IP address IPCP sweet but I'm not sure what these are why are these showing up so uh, dialer interface 2 if we actually look at it Ah, show interface dialer 2, up, up, LCP, link layer, control protocol, yeah, that's down, obviously, because it's not actually doing it, but it's bound to this virtual access to interface, so if we do, keep going, looking down, it's up, up, LCP open, sweet, so it's working. You can see it's bound to dial interface too, so they're kind of hand in hand, but the virtual access interface does all the magic. If we do same thing, actually virtual access one, we can see that it's not tied to anything. Not tied. So let's try no interface. So no interface virtual one no interface if I run this command uh, this is my first thought like oh let's let's get rid of it please use template like what maybe it's template one I don't know so I tried this so, I'm <laughs> basically at this point, it works. So, <laughs> not the best troubleshoot. To show IP interface, not the best troubleshooting video, but we went through, went through. It's not so bad. It's just pretty funny that I'm failing. <laughs> it's failing a troubleshooting video. So, we went through layer one. Check that. Layer 2, layer 3, it's working. Had to do a reboot. You know, reboots always work for everything. Kick in the, kick in the pants. So, that's basically it to the troubleshooting. And these, these two things right here, these don't exist, okay? You never saw them. They were, <laughs> they're never here. Move along. <laughs> it works. Don't touch it. So, I hope this is, video was somewhat helpful. <laughs> Thank you for watching.